Welcome to the Blockchain Report, where we discuss all things blockchain technology, digital assets, DeFi, NFTs, and much more. Today's video, we're diving into the next part of the Walrus Protocol Voyage on Galaxy. <laughs> this is a quest, and I kind of missed the, the other two. I meant, I did the activities, but I missed the NFT mint, or the oat mint, so we will complete this one and mint this oat. But this is on the Sioux testnet, and we will check this out, how to participate, and what all you need to do to get faucet tokens and staking and all that good stuff but before we get started thank you so much for joining please like subscribe comment share this out to anyone you think would be interested in blockchain technology all the fun stuff we get to learn and cool rewards we earn along the way like you get from earning these on-chain achievement tokens or oats or nfts and they contribute usually to their airdrop see potential airdrop so you want to participate in this and if you do need any further help i have a discord link is down below you want to come in here go to the rules and guidelines we do have a new feature it asks you two questions so where did you find the server and do you agree with the rules go to the rules and guidelines click the thumbs up you'll have access to all these channels they're full of alpha airdrop tips and hints and tricks and all kinds of goodies that you will just have to dive into for yourself and i appreciate all of you help helping build this out and making it what it is so thank you thank you and let's dive into the walrus voyager quest so so on this one, yeah, follow them on the socials, read this, uh, and you can test your knowledge. So after reading the learn article, test your knowledge, we will start. And I found this ACDB. So what challenge did blockchain technology address in early peer-to-peer -peer systems? A, managing data for long-term availability. This one's CDB, so streamlined architecture built specifically for storage. This is a feature that distinguishes Walrus from earlier decentralized storage solutions. So there's an architecture built specifically for storage. What are the key benefits, all of the above, and how does Sue enhance Walrus's capabilities by in integrating data stored on Walrus with apps? So there you go, there you go. And here you'll need to acquire Sue testnet tokens from a Sue wallet. I am using the Nightly wallet. It's very, very convenient and it works with a lot of uh, different networks too. So very awesome to see. And you'll wanna go here, copy this, and I will post um, the faucet pages but here's faucetblockbolt.io and you'll put your SU address and get your SU token. Also here, the SU testnet faucet, you can claim one from here as well, but I went ahead and got mine. Um, as you can see in the nightly wallet, you wanna click show testnets, but click right here and you can choose from, you can swap from mainnet to testnet and confirm and you will see that. Oh, and there's also a meme. Make a meme with Walrus. Uh, you can win quite a bit. So one meme per person, three votes per person. Most, memes must be Walrus themed. And yeah, so participate in that. And here we go. So Walrus staking. Oh, that's the document. And this is the Walrus staking site. You have your epoch, your shards, storage capacity, storage price, right price. So now you can get Walrus up here. Once you connect your wallet, get Walrus and we'll exchange change for some walrus tokens okay now that we have some walrus tokens let's check out the storage nodes our test net so there's a bunch of staking let's let's go down to some of these uh state capital nodes guru i wonder if stake cedo is on here now uh, i'll go to nodes guru so, oh minimum stake amount is one wall okay well we're gonna have to wait on that I'm trying to get more sue but i guess i can't so ooh, let's let me see let me see here i want to see if they have a test net for sue oh really oh they have the chain oh really okay okay so pro tip if you have a few dollars Let's see. Well, I thought I was going to be able to do that, but it doesn't have the nightly. Damn. Okay. So I guess we can't do that. Let's see. Is there another one? Let me see if I can find some in the faucets page on our discord which by the way i just got a shout out cryptogenic for for putting all this together these are all kinds of testnet faucets so claiming tia bear chain bmb sepalia e even some bitcoin testnets so thank you so fucking much that's awesome okay well i guess we'll have to keep adding with the testnet tokens so once you're able to accumulate at least one 
walrus um stake to one of these and yeah you'll be able to stake make sure it's one so let's go back to the walrus quest okay i guess you have to stake which yeah all storage nodes oh current committee yeah you need at least one but there you go walrus staking is pretty simple not a lot to it just make sure that you complete that and mint your nft right here so i appreciate all of you so much and remember if you do have any questions or comments or need any help please navigate to the discord link down below and with that this is the blockchain report have a wonderful day homies peace